Hello, my name is Paul from ClickAlgo. Um, rewrite software for the CTrader trading platform. And today we're going to explain about um, a semi-automated, automated, automated uh, strategy called the ClickAlgo Switchback Forex. It's mainly designed for Forex. Uh, we have another version which is tailored more towards indices. So I'll go straight into it and just show you um, the main features of the application. The whole strategy is based around um, a smart grid strategy. Every time the price retraces so many pips, it opens a position in the opposite direction. On its own, it produces pretty impressive results, but over the long term, there's massive drawdowns. So it's not a really feasible way of, uh, of a strategy. So what we've done is we've added a lot of risk management and a lot of technical indicators to try and reduce the drawdowns over the long term so you can get um, better returns. Um, one of the main problems with trading Forex is obviously news releases. Every time a news release comes out, it's very unpredictable. These events that happen in the market completely, you know, destroy all your technical indicators. So really, we want to avoid all news releases. So we have actually got another product called the News Release Manager um, that will actually pause the robot so many minutes before a news release um, with the option of even closing the positions as well and then restart the strategy or the robot so many minutes after a news release. So you don't even have to intervene. It also sends you an email to say a news release is about to occur. Um, so this protects your your kind of money that way, which is pretty good. Without the news, with the problem is with C traders, you cannot do a back test um, with the news release manager. So when you do do a back test with Forex, um, you can get some spikes drawdowns without the news release manager because um, we can't put that we can't take it for that really. But these, as I said, that the uh, the new version, this version with the Forex, does actually prevent a lot of um, these drawdowns. I'll show you in a minute. So I'll go through the settings for you. Um, on the general settings, you've got your first volume. So every time it, re this means on the, on the uh, retracement, every time to open a position, um, what your start volume is. So here it's 5,000, so, because you can have it so it's a volume multiplier. I'll show you, it's down here, initial volume limit, and where'd it go? Volume exponent, it's called, two. That means it will keep doubling. Um, you can change that to 1.25 or one or anything like that, depending on your risk. If you look at the documentation, it'll explain all of this in more detail. I'll just do a brief overview, otherwise I'll be here a very long time. So you've got, you can include whether it's buy or sell. So you can have just, if you know, if you, like I said, it's a semi-automated strategy. If you know the market over the next, you know, three months is going to be very, very bullish, you might want to turn the sell off. Um, so you can change these. Show the registered user, that just goes to show the registered user when you start the application. Um, for all the time settings to do with uh, Friday stop time and pause trading times, um, you can choose your own time zone or the time zone of the server. So you have the choice of the server time zone or your own time zone. Uh, notifications, you can turn your email notifications on or off. Uh, email alert pips, this is uh, pretty much if any, if any position is so in this case, 50 pips in the red, it will send you an email. So you can look at your charts and uh, and check it out. Um, again, you've got another property here. It's include trading started email. So as soon as the trading starts, uh, it will actually send you an email to say that trading has started. So you can go and look at your charts to make sure that there isn't any kind of um, events that are going to about to happen that might affect those trades, which is very useful. Here's your smart grid settings. Uh, you've got a volume limit, which means that you can have a maximum ceiling of volume that you want to trade, so it won't keep multiplying and uh, go too high. Pip step, so every time it retraces five pips, it will actually open a position. The volume exponent, which is the multiplier of the volume. The average take profit, this is built into the smart grid logic. And the max trades per day, this is a very useful feature. Because this works on a cycle, um, Every the cycles occur when all the I have to go down here, all the uh, multiple time frames, and in my case, I've got one hour, two hours, eight hours, 12 hours, and daily. This actually uses uh, multiple indicators, it uses multiple time frame indicators. So you've got the stochastic RSI and the whole moving average, and they all have to be bullish on all of those time frames. And because that happens, this is on a cycle, like a cycle in the market. So um, going back up here again. Here, you can just say only trade so many pips for that day. So the problem with the strategy is towards the end of the cycle, you start, you can get a few losing trades because the cycle starting to end and the, the, the technical indicators a change of direction. 
So you can just say, I only want to do 20 pips that day. Okay. So Friday stop time, that's straightforward. If you want to stop trading on a, cer on a certain time on a Friday and you want to close the positions as well on that time on a Friday, which is very useful because you don't want the positions open over the weekend. Pause trading sessions, this is very useful. This is something we built in that we didn't have over the indices strategy. So um, you can pause on three different sessions. So you might only want to trade in the morning between those hours, uh, lunchtime between those hours and afternoon between those hours. And the idea is um, at certain times of the day, there are certain bulletins that come out, certain uh, news releases that come out that are quite regular or certain times when the brokers say have come back from lunch and they were about to go to lunch and they put some big orders in. Anything that you know might might affect your strategy or your, your symbol that you're trading, you can pause and not trade during that period. So that's a very useful feature. Uh, the trade cycle start. Again, this is the time frames that you select. So all the indicators that you use, which is the whole moving average and the Dinapoli stochastic RSI. In this case, I've selected yes for all of them. They all have to be uh, bullish or bearish for all these time frames before it enters a trade. You don't get many trades per symbol. This is the thing because it's because it's uh, a lot of filters um, and a lot of signals. There isn't many trades per year, per per year. But what you do is you have multiple symbols running at the same time, and you can also limit the instances that are actually trading at any one time. So that will stop you having an accumulated drawdown. Um, so here you've got a uh, trading cycle pause. Oh, that's another thing. You can pause the trading cycle and you can select the time frame and the upper RSI and lower RSI thresholds. So you can actually get out of the cycle early. This is another feature we built in so that um, to try and stop the when the cycle's coming towards an end to get out early and stop the trading. And again, that's more explained in the document. The whole moving average, this is straightforward. Include trade signal one. You can say whole moving average. I can only trade whole moving average. If I turn all these off, this will only trade when the whole moving average is one hour and no more. Uh, if I turn that off and put five, it'll only trade when the whole moving average is signaling a buy or sell on the daily time frame. Okay. So you've got the option to mix and match and change these around. That, if you select all of them, that means there's high filtering, which means that you don't get many trades, but your drawdown is, is lower, your win ratio is higher, your loss ratio and your sharp ratio is quite high, which is good. Uh, Dinapoli Stochastic, again, it's the same as whole moving average. You can select the uh, time frames, but now you have the option to select the actual values for the indicator itself. And you can specify the upper and lower thresholds when it buys or sells as well. The smooth curve distance, is the distance between the signal line and the result line. Sometimes when you have, um, like here, when there's no real direct change in direction, the actual s the distance between the signal line and the result line will be very narrow, and it's a false signal to buy or sell. It's just going sideways. So something like where you've got a spike like this, you'll actually see the distance between the result and result line, sorry, the <laughs> signal line being much higher, and that's more of a signal to, to buy or sell. Again, that's, this is, um, if you look at the Dinapoli Stochastic Indicator on the ClickAlgo website, uh, it explains in more detail how this works. And again, and now you have extra trend indicators. So you've got the ADX indicator, which is a good one for trend. So you can specify the parameters for that and the time frame. It can have any time frame you want. Uh, SMA indicator, again, any time frame. EMA indicator, so you've got smooth, uh, single moving average, exponential moving average, sorry, simple moving average, not single. And then you have advanced risk management, so you can put your stop loss in. I don't run this, well, this strategy doesn't run on a stop loss, it actually closes on a change of an RSI cycle. So on a lower time frame, like one hour, when it goes overbought or oversold, it comes out. And I find that's a, a more accurate way of, of exiting trades. Uh, max instance is running, again, this stops you having multiple symbols. So if you had say 10, so I've had this running on 20 symbols. So if you have 20 symbols, they don't all trade at the same time. But if you do get two trading at the same time, your drawdown will be say, in this case, 4.69. And the other one will be say 5%. So you should have 10% in total. So you can limit that, the amount of drawdown you're gonna get there. Uh, equity level, this means that when your equity drops below a certain value, you can close all positions and stop trading. Uh, max trades in red, it means that if, it, if the price is retracing on the smart grid and it opens a position, it retraces again, it opens another position. If those positions are in the red, and t if, if there's two of your positions that are in the red, you've got negative profit, it won't open anymore. Once they go into profit, if it retraces again, it'll open up another one. 
uh, max spread so you can limit uh, low volatility when the spread's really high you can stop trade you can make sure a trade doesn't happen again pause at news release this is a, the feature where you can integrate with the news release manager and pause the trade before and after a news release <coughs> excuse me and then close positions again you can close you can you can specify if you want to close the positions um, now you've got your target pro target profits you've got include target profit take profit target so when the when the uh, pips are say 10 pips in profit you can close 50 percent 50 percent you can do a partial close <coughs> please note that the partial close doesn't work with um, back testing you also have reverse take profit which is very good so the um, if as you go more and more into profit as it reverses the price reverses it has to reverse 10 percent then you take 30 percent profit if it doesn't and then let the rest run uh, if the price continues to go up and it keeps um, coming down again and keeps going up higher than coming down again keeps going up higher coming down it will actually follow that it has to reverse 10 percent you can specify the value in here before it closes and you can specify uh, you can actually say how much of a percentage of your position you want to close as well uh, include trailing stop that's pretty straightforward so when the uh, uh, you trail behind the price at a certain step that's pretty, these are all uh, pretty generic and include break even as well so you've got all of those and I think I've got time <coughs> to show you this is these settings I put on here don't include they're very basic this is something that's just gone on there you can actually filter and add more details um, to get the drawdown lower and the net profit higher so on here I have this is one year's back test results 4.69 percent 109 winning trades um, the net profit is only four percent so again you don't get huge profits but you don't risk a lot if you want to risk more you can put that up and you can adjust the values even more to get better values and I think I've just done if I click on that one five six seven yeah this is two year back test results five point one four percent nine percent return uh, this is three year back test I think I'm using 40 million commission per and then you get 5.11 with 9% and then but over the entire length of the data that we have the drawdown is higher again this could be down to uh, news release man you know news releases that occur and things like that so you need to make sure um, you integrate the news release manager or you manually monitor the charts and make sure um, you know you can you can make because the idea behind the strategy is you don't just execute it and walk away you actually need to this that the back test was over like four or five years you actively need to change the parameters every few months as the cycles change so it's it's a strategy where you need to back test it then you need to forward test it I always forward test it for at least two to three months before you put it live then you need to monitor it on a consistent level um, so in other words you've got to babysit the strategy and tweak the parameters and watch the markets and look at the news releases and all the rest of it so you, it's not it takes time it's not something you can just press the button walk away and expect to make money because this won't happen um, and you can adjust it it's really to help your trade in and for the price of only 49.99 it offers a lot of functionality and features to um, to get you started really okay I hope you enjoyed the video um, if you are interested in this product, if you visit clickalgo.com, um, you'll be able to access this in there under the product section. Thank you very much for your time.